So let us continue playing with uh, automation and today basically I want to do something uh, different. Now we have been looking at various uh, smart values so far. Today I want to basically create a new rule with uh, if and else. Now for this example I will again use the same on hold transition. Basically we'll do something when the issue is moved to on hold status using of course a transition so my trigger is issue transition and I want to name it as uh, I want to basically use my two status which is uh, on hold I'll find it so this is my status on hold and I can select it I can then save it now let us say you want to do a check on uh, a label for example, I want to add a condition and this condition is basically not a simple condition. We want to basically have some kind of a logic here. Like if the label is equal to admin, then do this. If the label is equal to something else, then do something else. So what I'll do, I'll uh, basically use something like uh, if else and within if else, I can do um, issue fields condition, for example. For example, I can select here label and if my label contains let us say admin um, then we'll do something and that can be defined here in the add component which is now within the if block so i'll add maybe a new component and uh, uh, the good thing is that you can also do further like if i if i cancel it if i go to, uh, to go to add component you can also have maybe uh, you can also create a branch rule but for the time being let us just keep it uh, simple so if the label is admin and we move the issue to on hold we want to let us say let us say we want to just add a comment so let us do something simple and uh, something simple that we know will work now for adding a comment we can uh, uh, either use a simple uh, comment here like uh, label is uh, admin now what i what I wanted to show you is that if you're using uh, smart values, you can do actually a lot of wonderful things. So let us say you want to fetch uh, the labels uh, from the, from the, I mean, I can type here admin, but uh, I want to maybe fetch the actual label that is uh, there on the issue. For doing that, I can of course use smart value, something like uh, issue dot uh, something. Now, if you are not sure how to find uh, the exact field that you want to fetch, you can always go to the available issue fields uh, when you go to the smart value documentation. So it should be something like issue dot label or something similar. So let, let us search here. We Do we have something for labels? So I am basically trying to do a control F on this particular page. Now, um, I don't really see any uh, any label here. What I can do is I can maybe take a look at smart values general, maybe a different page where I might have some details about label. I'm trying to find out. So no, I, I don't have any anything like label here. Let me take a look at uh, the um, let me just take a look at maybe text fields, but label is not a text field. L let us try with both label and labels. So I'll do something like uh, issue dot fields dot label and uh, i'm not sure if it will work or not but we'll 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 see and what i can also do is i can uh, maybe add uh, i mean i i can have I, I can add more component but i want to of course add an else block now when you are adding an else block you can again do further checks like within else maybe you want to check for maybe one more value but if the label is admin then i want to add a comment but if the label is not admin then I just want to uh, ignore and uh, proceed further. So I can simply add else 
and then I can add maybe another component. I'll, I'll save it. So you don't have to specify uh, further in the else. So if admin is the label, then do this. Otherwise, for everything else, just add a, add a new component. So we can have one more comp we can have one more uh, action in the else block where we can add a comment again. And uh, let us add a comment like this is for everything else. Let us save it. And uh, maybe I want to give it an uh, give it a nice name, something like uh, if else rule, and turn it on. And when we turn it on, of course, we can uh, then check whether it is uh, working or not. So what I'll do, I'll go to my Android project. I may already have an issue where I can simply move the issue to on hold. So we do have a lot of issues from our previous examples. So I will, uh, so right now there is no label and uh, I may want to add a new label. For example, I can simply click on the edit here and I will uh, modify. So what I can do, I can modify the label here. Let me specify maybe admin. So if the label is admin and if I then move the issue to on hold, it should add a comment, but I'm not sure whether it will add, add, add a comment or not because uh, we might need to refresh the issue. And I think uh, it worked. So a label, ha a label was added, but what I want to do is I want to basically fetch the label automatically using smart values. So I was looking at uh, this uh, documentation and I think uh, this is the page where we can uh, learn how to fetch labels. Now label of course can be multiple and that is why uh, we have to check this page called smart values list. Now if I do something like label, I, I'll, I'm just searching. So basically you have issue dot labels. So I think we can probably use labels instead of just label. I was probably, uh, my rule can be modified. I can go to my a smart value and I need to do issue dot labels issue dot labels I can probably remove this and um, let us then save it so publish the changes and if I go back to my issue I may want to add one more label because I now have a, a smart value let us add a couple of labels maybe review, maybe on hold and save it. And uh, maybe if I do a transition again to on hold, which is of course uh, the same transition, we are already already on, on hold. Now let me just refresh the issue. It is not always uh, fast. So it worked. So we are able to fetch the labels. So labels, uh, of course it is a list. And as you can see here, we have admin development review on hold. So we have we have all the labels that are now um, displayed. Now, if let us say we don't have any label, I can uh, maybe remove admin. Let us say we don't have the label that we were checking in the rule in the if else block. Then let us see what happens. A comment will be added, but a comment will be added without admin, a different comment. So let us uh, click on the refresh and uh, wait for it. So, yeah, so, so this works. So we have this is for everything else. And uh, it, uh, so basically the if else block is working and uh, it is working as we expected. Of course, uh, you might have to spend some time dealing with of course labels uh, and we had to look here uh, look, look look at look look in the documentation and uh, the, the documentation is, is actually quite good so far i have been able to figure out all the fields most of the type most of the fields but there is also a way to do other things with json for example if you are editing the issue maybe you have a trigger or maybe you are basically trying to update the issue so you can also do that using uh, a JSON. I think we, we looked at one example where we updated the assignee field using the people field. Uh, did, did we make a video on that? I think I replied to a 
question on the community but uh, i will probably also cover those aspects like working with json file uh, when you are uh, when you working with when you are using automation rules so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much